and mommy, I was I was born when she was only 15. So that's Just why. 14 and yeah, we are closer to age. I'm closer to Tommy age than my mom's age. We are only 14, 14 plus years apart. So that's why the two of us are like sisters. Right, mommy? Yeah. They she get mistaken. She, she married very young. She start life young at 14. Mm -hmm. And you know, back in those days, it was a normal thing, right? So. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I made some delicious cook up rice with veal. And I'm and squash and mushrooms, a gourmet of blend of mushrooms. Anyways, I use that seasoning powder that everybody, uh, all of you know that Indian cook up seasoning powder uh, for oh, yeah. the first time ever, but I didn't taste it. So I'm pour, putting it in, and I'm like, that's not a good color. And I keep putting more and more in it. I add some jerry masala, some curry powder, but I forgot there's a lot of salt in it. So it's a little salty. Add some tomato. Add, add some tomato. Add some, some tomato and refine it. But it tastes okay. nice. It tastes good, but just a little bit salty. And um, it's your first time cooking cook up, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't realize the Guinness cook up. Guinness cook up. You didn't realize the Guinness cook up pack has so much salt in it. I did not know. <coughs> Mom, the neighbors can see you. Stop it. Okay. You're embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's all they said fun. very nice, John. Mm. So, uh, we, my mom is been, we, will be cooking some uh, Guyanese style chow mein, and it's the um, vegetarian style. And she's using some seasoned oil, some of John's seasoned oil. Mm -hmm. So, it's a flavor oil with rosemary and some garden fresh seasoning. And over here, I have some oil heating up. But let me show you the chicken. Look at this guys, so I seasoned this chicken since lunch time. We were, uh, we were going to make this for lunch, but then we, we had um, some other dishes. So this has been sitting with this delicious seasoning since in morning. here. Since this morning, right? Mm -hmm. So you know it's going to be good. Yes, thank you. Now let me show you over here. Um, I have some flour. I will, I, will, I will lightly flour it before I fry it. This is some fried chicken and guys you have to try it. It's so delicious and tasty. Mommy, don't you love my fried chicken? Yes. Every it time. Good. Yeah. Every time um, I do fried chicken, you like it. Fried chicken has any seasoning, it's good. And it's in, um, like, um, like tough, it does taste nice. I get a crunch, so I know to do it good. Yeah, and, uh, and if you want it more like a crunchier, like KFC, like the crunchiness of a KFC, when you first light uh, flour it, you just need to um, put it on some egg white mm -hmm. or or actually egg white or a little milk and we dip it and then you re flour it mm -hmm. and it'll give it a bigger crunch, like more crunch. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing here for seasoning. I'm just using some bottle stuff for right now. We're putting in some paprika. Uh, some ginger powder. I like to season my flour when I'm doing, whenever I'm doing any sort of frying or so, and I'm using flour or if I'm using cornmeal, I love to um, I love to uh, season it. It tastes so much better. So I also have some garlic. Look at that. So let me just show you this for you, huh? Um, yeah. Just one. okay. Yeah, yeah. Some garlic and also what I have here is some chili powder. All right, and mommy's gonna show you what else she's doing here for next step. No, no, no. I'm gonna put some onion. And uh, I am have some salt. I'm adding some salt to this flour here too but check it out and if you have just some dry thyme which I do but I forgot it upstairs you put some in there too Ooh, I forgot an, um, a fork also upstairs so while that's frying up what I'm gonna do here now is mix this in and I'm using my fingers you can put in a glove put on a glove if you want 
or use your naked fingers. Yeah, so it's nice, you know, you use your fingers, it's like playing with your food, and it's like, it puts you in a meditative mood. When, when you like cooking, it's not work. And you don't complain if you get on you because you enjoy doing it. It's like playing. It's like a, being a kid. So this is all not, uh, this is all seasoned flour here. And what I'm gonna do now? Uh, I have all this chicken. I'm gonna just rest all the chicken here. And um, I like to fry chicken. I use organic chicken. And I like to fry it with the skin. You see this skin here? Look, there's no fat. So I like to put it on the skin, and this is, you know, some of the time I would like to, I would really enjoy a chicken skin and, and um, all that seasoning, like kind of stay in there. So, you know, it tastes better, I feel. I like and, the skin. Yeah, and the thing is, we don't eat it every day. All right. So adding to some sweet pepper and some karate. I just steam up inside. Mommy, you smell that so good, right? You, you smell that oil, mommy? Mm -hmm. It's on, it's that seasoning oil that we did today. Let it just steam up here. Okay? Try a little bit. Then we have some shallow here. Okay? And we have some celery. Chip up celery. And this is the, the closest place to the guy in his celery. Yeah is the Asian celery and only like when I get to an Asian store that I will get it not all the time I think my oil might be hot enough so I have some oil and this is what I will do is like I will just press it on the flour and like I said if you want a thicker crust you you wet it with some with some milk or um, some beaten eggs and then you redo it like this but I want this light lightly flour okay so put that in there and when you cook it also with the skin and again if you if that's not in your diet you don't have to do that but when you cook it with the skin man that skin holds in all that spices mm -hmm. and that seasoning yeah. oh it tastes so good it tastes so good Oh my gosh, you're waking up all the neighbors with the smell. But I am cooking extra for the neighbors. I tell mommy dad, I say, mommy, um, uh, make enough seasoning for the neighbors also. We have some poi bhaji and some, some cabbage. We don't, well, in, in Guyana, you normally put with, you put the bora or the body or the yard long bean and they also you know but we're using what we have and these are the things we have tomorrow or sunday we're going to the market we will find some of these things adding the shallot and the celery and this thing here got some fine this time a little bit so we don't have to much, oh, you know, much. I, mean, yeah, I brought some from the house not much uh, because my tree is um, trying to survive right now oh, man every bite of this chicken this, I'm, I'm proud of all my fried chicken and the way i'm cooking this i'm trying it something new i'm using a little a bit of chinese um the chinese spices that i use most of the time for meat i'm using it for the chicken it's like that red uh that red pork you buy at chinese uh, restaurant in Guyana that's the seasoning okay it, it's not quite like that but it's close to it so I'm gonna let those guys fry so okay? I'm show this little of cook up rice seasoning why not cook up rice so that is not you could throw it in the thing is we don't have the um you know, mommy wants to make it as close as to Guyana as you can get some black oh, pepper However, we don't have the, what is it called? The Chinese, the chow mein seasoning. No. And we have a little bit of cook-up seasoning. It and most some. of the time it's the same kind of spices they have in there. We have the powder. Okay, let me slow down the heat. 
Yeah. Turn up a little bit. Turn up a little bit. Huh? Wow, that looks good. Oh, show them your cook up. Show them. Check it out, guys. This is my cook up. Squash, a blend of mushrooms, some shadow, no, um, cilantro for garnish. What kind of mushrooms? Shiitake, lion's mane, portabella, and uh, oyster mushrooms. Looks good, buddy. And let me tell you, the side, the ah, it's getting so, it's, it's getting, oh, it's, so I mean, it's getting, a, it's getting light, darkness so quickly, I don't like it, I don't like it. I know, What right? is it, mommy? Oh, what is it? Can you stick it by your hand? I fixed it. Okay, that was taking a bite, don't put it back in. Oh, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. oh, it's losing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. honey and um, my mm -hmm. Belindi syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Belindi. John, give, awesome. her, give her a cup to spit in. Go get it. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Everybody says, Sylvia, that says it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my next part of chicken ready. I'm cooking a little bit extra. I figure we're cooking a whole pack of chow mein and I'm using baka chow mein. I go. I live in Esquibo on the Esquibo course on adventure for ten years. So I shop with bakas um, ba at bakas, and I love the chow mein. Back in those days, we used to go and tour the the the, uh, the factory and see how you make chow mein, and I love it. I love it. So every time I try to buy the bakas brand, if I can, whenever I'm cooking like that, I need chow mein or anything like that. Is it money? Yeah. What do you need? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Oh. So my chicken, the chicken here is, the chicken is cooking up. Mm -hmm. Nope, 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 there you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Sandy, don't like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't cook with it very much because of all the salt and uh, believe it or not, I have, a, I have um, high blood pressure. So I try to use very little bit of salt. Mommy, want a food or no? This will for me. Okay. That's all good. Mom is mixing that. Guys, I'm mm -hmm. going to turn these over. Look how nice and brown these are. Mm -hmm. Man, this is the best fried chicken. Best fried chicken. If I have a food truck, oh, here we go. Here she goes again. Why not? The music I can wait. <laughs> you have to use it. Just a sprinkle inside the top here. Okay? Can you can't fry your base, this is just steam. Yeah, yeah. Look out. And guys, he's showing you how simple um, the charming for all our vegan friends and vegetarian friends. You can even put some spinach inside. And she's using spinach, you can use pak choy. I use that all the time in my charming. This is strange for mommy. I said, no, mommy, you can use some of this baji. You can use anything you have. Pack toy, whatever you have, throw it in there. Yeah, we just need to die, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. you oh. okay. yeah. yeah. want um, No, no, it's too Sandy, can you ask if they, can they hear you now? Please let us know. Somebody said there's no sound. Oh, no sound? I don't know. Sometimes things happen. This is what, it's a live show, guys. It's a live show. Let us know if you're hearing sound.
Well, give them a little view, uh, such a nice day around here, uh, while you still have a little bit of light. Mariah says the sound, this audio is low a bit, and Julie says it sounds fine. Sound is good. Putting in another set. And yeah, I'm cooking it on a medium heat so the oil is not burnt. I'm using olive oil because yeah. that's the only oil I have. But when you, most of the time you can use like um, vegetable oil uh, for when you're frying. But you can reuse this oil for like cook up and things like that. It will, it's like a flavor oil now. And the oil is not burned, but flavored with all this, the chicken. So whenever you cook something with chicken or meat, you can reuse this oil. And man, it will give your food so much good uh, flavor, right, mommy? Mm -hmm. But one thing, go ahead and no, use, the, use the other one, the pushing thing, push it. And um, believe it or not, I also, when I'm frying chicken, I like to fry up like a whole chicken in pieces. So you have bone pieces and so on for people who uh, you know, prefer the dark meat, white meat. And then when you cook it like small pieces and in a nice heat like this, it's amazing. We only have a few left. And mommy said, just go ahead and put all of them in there. The pan is not really overcrowded. It's a big no, pan. A big pan. And it. then, and, and the, and the, um, the heat, and the heat, it's like a big wide heat, you know. The uh, the burner is a wide burner, so everything is still cooking nicely. So enjoy me mojito and a dance to song and uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to eat and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
They said for you not to waste the music. <laughs> All right, so I'll, this is our dinner. Check that out. Fried chicken and uh, veggie chow mein. Look at a nice chow mein with a full of vegetables. And delicious so all over if you're fasting this is a great way to make a noodles you can actually use any noodles for this recipe you can also use it um, in your pasta or anything like that or even cooking like just plain rice use that recipe too it's really good I need to go wash my hands but Upstairs is a little ways to go. I'm just hanging on to it. <laughs> Where did mommy go? She's already picking up. Okay, okay. Yeah, mommy can't sit still one place. She's like the. You think I have energy? She has a lot more energy. <laughs> Both of you. Non stop yeah. around here. I need to turn the lights off so you can see how fast it's getting darker. Mm -hmm. I know it's really dark right now, guys. It's just we have a light right now, and uh, also the camera light is on. Next time, Joyce. Next time, I promise. What is it? She wants me to show me my moves. Oh, here, here. No, no, no. Here. Next time, next time. <laughs> so we don't move. Don't get tired. You know, for dance, put cool side. I did not know. I don't. Listen, okay? I didn't grow up. I like growing up. They'll tell me to go help everybody. When it's time to go dance and when it's a party going on, I'm gone. I was like the science mind growing up and a boy in the family, our tomboy. So I'm gone climbing trees, exploring or something. That wasn't fun for me. It's only now that you see me going to weddings and functions and things like that. But before, no. <laughs> so I didn't grow up like dancing and so on. But I hear it, I see it. I love watching dancing. I that I love doing that. But well, me, I love dance. I yeah, love but that. me, me, me being on the floor is not a big thing for me. I enjoy watching other dancing. But one, one time, you know, uh, mo I guess more I do it, better you get. But dancing is just moving around. You know, <laughs> it's the energy. I mean, well, I have the it's the feeling and it's happiness. It. Yeah, I have the energy. Well, I have to. Use what is it, mommy? Tommy? I said dancing is just you feeling happy. It doesn't matter how well yeah, you do it. It's what you feel out of. You're happy with you. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Everywhere in the world, people dance different things in their different ways. So it's just, it's a way of being happy, of, of expressing, of, of how you hear something. You know, so if I'm out of bounds in my dancing, well, there you go. There's Sandy for you. <laughs> I want to try it. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. You are who you are, and if somebody has something to say about it, I'm sorry to say, but that's where they are, you know. And every day is a good day. Every day is a good day. What we need to do is encourage each other, not bring them down. It's about encouraging and about teaching and stuff like that. Uh -uh. And dancing is not like the, the word of mouth. Dancing, you gotta listen to the music. Yeah. The music you gotta go with, not the word that come out from the yeah, yeah. singer mouth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And who say it's supposed to be this way? Mm -hmm. You know, who invented that 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 way? You know, mm -hmm. these people. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, what's going on there? You wanna do us? Um, you wanna do um a snow a grass snow angel? Jump down there and do grass snow angel. Bugs. Oh. <laughs> uh. Itchy. They're all agreeing with you. Yeah. And let me tell you, I'll shake it. And, but like I said, I prefer to sit back and watch everybody else dance. It brings more joy to me. But look how good this is looking, guys. Johnny, go tell Google to play Raymond Ram Narang song so mommy can give it. Oh. Yes, sir. So John is gone? Let me go. I'm going to tell Google. Just a minute. We don't have a big music here. 
Yeah. Well, we can't. Uh, we have a little box that'll play a little bit louder music. No, no we, we have, have the big speaker, but we can't. Yeah, we can't play loud. Yeah, we have neighbors. We can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my big boyfriend. I'm glad to reach with Raymond Rama, Rama, right face to face. And come here so I can hear the song now. I'm going to dance again. No, you can't dance. I put your boyfriend on. Come on by Sam. Come here, Sam. Go ahead. Uh, no, we're sharing with uh, four neighbors also. Hey, come a little bit look. I don't know if they can hear the song, but it's one of Rima Ryan's song. Just for a look for a second. We feel like we are in an Indian movie with the nice green grass and the trees around us, right, Tommy? Okay. Get away from me. Don't want to answer me. I made some salt, cured sausage, and a cantaloupe soup, everybody, and I'm eating some. Nice, nice. It's delicious. As I said, the one, you know, nobody could say, oh gosh, I'm big. I old and I and I plain young. No, I am young, I am sixty years <laughs> and I feel my body structure like I just in my party. Yeah. I have the energy and everything. People might feel that um, I have big kid, but I get my kid them very young. Mm -hmm. And I get grandkid very young. But me not old, I young. <laughs> And this is then she's now living life. You know, we all went through, we all have a past and we all have a story to tell. And then, man, why not? I'm gonna go check on my chicken. My body will be um, um, Wednesday, I would be 60, big 60. <laughs> young 60. Young 60, young 60, man. <laughs> young 60. Uh, what happened? You know, this is all how it started. Mommy's been coming to America now for, I think, nine nine plus years. And every time she come, Mommy said, you gotta remember you're not old. You need to stop. You know, she, she used to only wear like black clothes. Well, uh, uh, no, life, life is great. Yes. No life different. I know. We all learn, you know, it's, it's all life for us. I never used to drink and then say, you know, I don't even drink. One drink, one drink, one. Drink. Drink one. Mm -hmm. I have to do it. <laughs> Guys, oh. look at this chicken here. Look how, oh, good. oh my gosh, honey, look at that chicken. That's good. Mm -hmm. Man, that chicken looks so good, right, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put, these are already sitting, so it'll be cooler. I'll put the other parts over here. These guys are finished. You don't want to overcook it. And remember, when you fry chicken or when you bake chicken, let it sit for at least 10 minutes or like at five, five minutes. Because while it's sitting, it's still cooking. And all that nice juice is in there. And it's um, gonna be so good. Because as soon as you cut it open, all that nice juice will come out and it wouldn't be so, so crunchy, you know? So leave it in a minute. Like right now, this is perfect to eat. This one here. Oh, it's completely dark. It's completely dark in this yard right mm -hmm. now. And today we start to take down all our Christmas lights and so on. And that the only reason, the only reason, because many of you, if you know me, I always have my Christmas trees and my Christmas lights 
way past January. And that's because why you just enjoy it for one week and two weeks. Look how long it takes you to put up everything. Plus, I love it. So, um, we, th we are taking them down because we will be doing some painting on the railing. So, we need to like clean it and so on. Then we'll do some painting. Here. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to what? <laughs> addicted to you. Yeah, oh, I'm addicted to <laughs> Okay. Sing, dance, you can hear it. <laughs> like hard music for that. <laughs> we need a lot more boom boom. Yes, we have a little bigger box. We're going to try to figure out how to use it. And we, it's still going to be um, not as much in this big yard. It will be perfect, but a little bit more music. Right now, I just have Google who is actually playing. So look at that chicken, how nice it's looking there. Hey, the water for salmon. Who made a deal? I will be starting to start to listen to all the Indian music, especially older music. I like the classic. And I like the original classic. So I'll start to listen a little bit more to this music because whenever I listen to it, it really reminds me of growing up. And like, you know, the culture, we go every day, we're so busy, you know, we keep going, 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 and we never look back. So believe me, I've been looking back for the last five years of my life, and I've never been happier. I love my stories, okay? Many might think it's bad, many might think it's good, but those stories is make you who you are today. And it's our choice if we, may, if we want to make it amazing and learn from it or 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 worry or always thinking about it or always blaming somebody about it you know so y your life is much better much better uh when you just you know um move on and grow and learn from the past i know that it's part of who make you strong today you know everything you good mommy hey you sandy i have to say this joyce says she's 60 going on 61 and red wine makes her feel fine Oh, I love red wine too. Uh, I only can drink maybe two glass, so um, I try to do I don't it. Like it. I know, but it's really good for your heart mm -hmm. and for your health. Like says for women, like a good red wine, at least um, three to four times a week, like two glasses. Mm -hmm. okay, don't listen to me, okay? Just, just ask Google, <laughs> or just go on YouTube and say, hey. You know, it's really good for your heart and everything like that. And it's high in, uh, it's high in um, antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. It's like grape that's for mint. So that's why you want a nice, good red wine. All right. So, so thank you again. Thank you for being part of us. It's completely dark. <laughs> yeah, well, but, it. yeah, but it was fun to cook in the dark, thank right? Thank you and good night. Love you guys. Um, it, oh, <laughs> It's completely, uh, look how dark it is, look how dark it is. The, just... the camera's still giving a lot of light though. Oh, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. it look lighter than brighter than it is. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay, put on, okay, let, let's show one more time the food. That's what we have here. Check out the fried chicken, so it's perfect for us to go eat now. Mm -hmm. Hey mommy, you want to bite a piece here? Wait, let me see. No. Just pop a thumb piece here. Yeah, here, no, you here. You want to break it? Bite it. Mm. No, you should break it. Uh, how would mm. you like to do it? Why you like this crunch piece? <laughs> yeah. Mm. You, you like the crunchy? Mm -hmm. mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Tastes good, spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Here, let, let me try a piece. Mm -hmm. Here, you hold that. Let me grab it. Oh, let me try that, guys. Look how nice and juicy that is. Hold it. Don't move, don't move. There it is. Mm -hmm. mm, I see perfect batter, right? Mm -hmm. Not so crunchy, but tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Mm -hmm. mm. You just want a little pepper of sauce mm -hmm. and a little barbecue. You gotta eat the pep. Sorry. So love you guys, love you. Thank you so much for being part of us. Have a wonderful night. We will see you tomorrow. And thank you so much for subscribing to our YouTube channel.
It's so amazing, everybody. Sorry, I'm still chewing. <laughs> so amazing, everybody, and have a wonderful night. Love you. Love Good you. Good night. Bye bye. Sweet dream. Dream about food. <laughs> <laughs>